Hey, what's happening? This is Linus. Today we have a budget laptop that doesn't even cost 150 bucks. Obviously, this is not the most premium laptop. It doesn't have the best specifications out there, but it works for the basic stuff. I think it brings a lot of value to the table, but obviously it has quite a few shortcomings to consider before making the purchase. That's why you have to stay tuned to this review where I'm gonna tell you all the pros and cons. Just before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel as a lot more videos are coming out soon. Also, you'll find all the links and show notes down below the video. At the moment, this laptop costs less than 150 bucks. This laptop ships just with a charging brick and a cable and some instruction manuals. At the first glance, it may look that the jumper laptop is made out of metal since its design is inspired by the MacBook Air. However, the laptop is made entirely of plastic and it feels kind of cheap. Despite that, the device is well made and I don't see any build quality flaws. Obviously, you won't be able to open up the lid with one finger, but the opening latch works quite well. Since the laptop is made of plastic, it is very light and it has a relatively thin profile making it perfect for traveling. Also, the jumper is compact due to the 12 inch display, which is very good for such a cheap laptop. It's both sharp and bright enough, and it has a matte coating that helps avoid screen glare issues. However, the display makes a very annoying static noise, no matter which brightness setting you're at. That is actually one of the biggest complaints that I have about this laptop. Just above the display we have a low resolution camera and as you may expect the quality of it is quite bad. The keyboard is not the best I've tried as it feels kind of cheap but once you get used to using it it's comfortable to type on as the keys have enough travel. Obviously there is no keyboard backlight. We have one USB 3.0, mini HDMI port and the DC port on the left. On the right side you can find USB 2.0 port, a headset jack and the micro SD card slot for storage expansion. The headset jack provides decent sound quality. However, once you plug the laptop into the power source, you may hear a slight interference. The speakers are located on the bottom and, as you can imagine, the quality of sound is quite terrible. Basically, you can hear only the treble. You can't expect killer specs at this price point, as this laptop was designed more for the basic stuff like web browsing, editing documents, and so on. All of those features work just fine, and I didn't notice any significant lag or stutter. I never rely on benchmark results, but here they are, the Geekbench and Crystal Disk that shows pretty decent read and write speeds, considering a very low price of this laptop. Decent specs assure a pretty good day-to-day -day performance on this laptop that runs on a fully activated Windows 10. The jumper is quite fast when opening or closing Windows tabs, settings or apps. Well, you may see a bit of stutter or you may need to wait a bit for the certain apps to open up, but I can't really complain about that. Also, I don't recommend keeping a lot of different apps opened since this laptop has only 2GB of RAM. Also, internet browsing and switching between tabs is not the fastest process, but it's quite a good experience overall. I wish the trackpad was bigger, but I can't really complain about its performance as it is quite responsive. In terms of gaming, this laptop is not so great. I know I tested a very old game which is called Asphalt 8 and you can download it for free from the Windows Store and the laptop can't handle it. I tried to play it on the very highest graphics settings, then I reduced the graphics. Well, you can play it like on medium graphics settings, but still you should expect quite a few skipped frames, stutter, and a little bit of lag. Also, the laptop gets quite warm after a little bit of gaming, but didn't have any major overheating issues, so I can't say that there are any problems in the thermals department. In terms of connectivity, the laptop supports only 2.4GHz Wi-Fi and the internet speeds are kind of average. 
that results in slower web page loading time, download and upload speeds. Other connectivity options like Bluetooth work fine. In terms of the battery life, the laptop ships with 10,000 mAh unit and I couldn't find any official declarations of the battery life. They only say the battery lasts forever. But in real life scenario, uh, I could get about seven hours out of this laptop, but keep in mind I use it like for the basic stuff, like for web browsing, social media, watching some videos, because obviously you can play any 3D games on this laptop or edit 4K videos. But I would say that the battery life is great overall. If you want to recharge the laptop, it takes quite a bit of time. It takes about four hours and 20 minutes, which is not the best result out there. The Jumper EasyBook 2 SE is a cheap laptop that has quite a lot of features but it also has quite a few trade-offs you would need to live with. You may find a static noise coming out from the display annoying, the loudspeaker system and the webcam are bad, and finally I wish the Wi-Fi speeds were better. On the other hand, the Jumper laptop works fine for the basic stuff like internet browsing, editing a few documents, watching YouTube videos, and so on. Also, I love its design, portability, low weight, nice and sharp display, decent keyboard, and a pretty good battery life. I think that this laptop will get the job done for the most of the basic users and it brings a ton of value for the price, but keep in mind that you would need to live with the previously mentioned shortcomings. At the end of the day, this is not the most premium laptop out there. I'm not editing 4K video or not playing any 3D games on this, but I use this for the basic stuff and it just works quite well. Obviously, you have to consider all the previous shortcomings I just mentioned, but just for the basic stuff, I think it's a pretty decent laptop for such a low price. But what do you guys think about this laptop? As always, drop me a comment down below. Drop me a comment down below if you have any questions. Please like the video, subscribe, you know all the drill. Follow me on social media. It was Linus. Thank you for watching and see you soon.